Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to install a pair of drives in the OWC Mercury Elite Pro Dock. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free work surface. We're now ready to begin. On the rear panel of this unit, there are two Phillips screws that hold the outer case to the inner assembly. Once these have been removed, tip the enclosure forward and lift the outer case up and off. The Mercury Elite Pro Dock can either take a pair of 3.5 or 2.5 inch drives. To install 2.5 inch drives, you'll need the two narrow threaded smaller capped screws from the bag included with your Elite Pro Dock. Align the SATA connector on the drive with the connection in the drive bay, then slide the two together. On the side of the bay is a small hole marked SSD, which will line up with one of the holes on the drive. Use one of the small screws to secure the drive in place. Then repeat the process on the other side. To install three and a half inch drives, you'll need the eight thicker screws from the bag included with your Elite Pro Dock. Align the SATA connector on the drive with the connection in the drive bay, then slide the two together. Then secure the drive in place using two of the thick threaded screws on each side. Now it's time to set the RAID level for the enclosure. This is set by turning the arrow in the lower right so that it is pointing to the RAID type indicated on the enclosure. There's a plastic piece over the hole so it's easier to set it now. RAID 0 and RAID 1 are for drives of the same type and size and allows you to stripe or mirror without any extra software. You can use SPAN or JPOD with any combination of drives, but if you're going to use software such as SoftRAID to format, then your best bet will be JBOD, which will show both drives individually. Since we have two matched SSDs in this enclosure, we're going to set it to RAID 0 for the best speed. All we need to do is turn the arrow to the RAID 0 position with a small flat-headed screwdriver or other small flat object. We can now close up the enclosure. Set the assembly vertical with the ports facing upward. Align the cover on the assembly so that the ports and cutouts line up and slide the two together. Finally, replace the two Phillips screws that hold the cover in place. Your OWC Mercury Elite Pro Dock is now ready to format and use.